For the first time since 2006, the San Diego Padres are officially headed to the postseason. Here's John Howard with more. A simple scenario for the Padres going into their game today. Win and they clinch their first postseason berth in 14 years. Lose and try again tomorrow. The Padres offense was scoreless until the sixth inning when Will Myers rips the cover off the ball to dead center. A three run bomb. Friars lead three to one. The Padres are just four outs away from the playoffs when Emilio Pagan gives up a two run home run to Dylan Moore. That ties the game at three and we're going to go to extra innings. Both teams score a run in the 10th inning and in the 11th the Padres are fed up with it score three times and go on to beat the Seattle Mariners to clinch their first playoff berth in nearly a decade and a half. Swing and a miss he struck him out for the first time in 14 years the San Diego Padres have clinched their spot in the postseason. So high drama at Petco Park the Padres come away with the win get their first playoff berth in 14 years. Can't wait for the postseason to get here. John Howard here in the home studio. Let's go back to you on set now. This season and tonight's big win have Padre fans super excited. News 8's Tim Blodgett caught up with some of them today to talk about the team's success. Well, San Diego, it's finally happened. After a 14-year drought, the Padres finally make the playoffs. And fans tell me what that means for their city. Garcia hits onto the ground to first. Muncy is going to come home with it. And safe at the plate, getting in from third is Profar. This year's Padres team just feels different. This is driven to deep left field. It looks like they're in every game. It's really awesome to look down the lineup and see every player, you know, over like 270 average. Which makes it painful that on a day where the Padres could clinch their first playoff berth in the last 14 years, fans aren't packing the bleachers and in the area around Petco Park. That's a base hit down the right field line. You have to go all the way back to 2006 when a Padres team led by Trevor Hoffman lost the NLDS series to the St. Louis Cardinals 3-1. The St. Louis Cardinals advance. The Dodgers nine, the Padres nothing. It's In the 14 years after, the Padres cycled through years of mediocrity with a total record of 966 wins to 1,141 losses. Myers drives this to deep right center field. The city has been crying out for a decent team to take the diamond. And this year, they might just have one. We're young, we're energetic, you know, um, the team's fans with a lot of passion. I think these fans deserve more. A lot of people just want a winning team. They don't have to win the World Series or even the National League uh, pennant, but they need to be competitive. They should not be dominated by the Dodgers. And their predictions for the future? I, I think we'll definitely beat Miami, <laughs> you know, first round. We we'll definitely beat uh, LA, you know, second round, and you know, hopefully we'll be in the play in the World Series for sure. It's a team that finally matches the beauty of San Diego. Go Padres! Go Padres! Tim Blodgett, News Eight.